This is the light coming from my phone. And this is the light switch. Now as you can see, dimmer lights get overpowered by brighter lights. Now what happens if we turn on plenty of light switches in a city like Hong Kong? We start to lose our ability to see the night sky. So can we still photograph the stars? Well, you can if you follow a few principles. Clear night sky forecast persists today. So let's go on a hike to Hong Kong's second tallest mountain, Nantau Peak, and take the Milky Way and the sunrise. I know in photography there's a lot of talk about how gear doesn't really matter. But in this case, well, they sort of do. Definitely you can take some photos of the night sky with a basic camera, a basic lens. But better gear will definitely perform better in certain conditions. For astrophotography, you'll need a camera that is capable of shooting in manual mode so that you have control of your ISO, your shutter speed and aperture. A camera that is good in low light performance and some quality lenses to give you sharp images and collect as much light as possible. <sighs> the number one tip for shooting the night sky is search for darker skies. Mind-blowing advice. <laughs> Photographers will usually refer to a scale called the portal scale, where a portal 0 to 1 is a place with no light pollution and a portal 9 to 10 is a place with heavy light pollution. In these places, the stars won't be visible at all. So if you look at the light pollution map, here in Hong Kong is predominantly a red or white zone. So for the photos that I take, I will go to places that are in the amber region, like Sai Kong or here in the Lantau Island, where it's a Bortel 5, so it's quite acceptable with just medium light pollution. Another tip in shooting for the night sky is to consider the direction that you are facing. So for example, even if I'm in the amber regions here in Hong Kong, I still need to make sure that I am not facing the red or white zones in the light pollution map far in the distance because this will also greatly affect the quality of the night sky that you will be able to take. I'm guessing this area is a Bortel Class 5 because it's quite close to the Hong Kong International Airport on this side. But if we face the opposite way, there is a lot less light pollution, just some small villages in the sea over there, which is where the Milky Way will be rising later. Last stretch going to the top and... Man, my legs are killing me, but the sky is absolutely clear right now. And I think this is the first time that I've seen Lantau this clear. Usually when I'm up here, so many clouds, minimal visibility, but tonight quite excited for shooting the night sky. <laughs> Let's go to the top now. <laughs> Speaking of gear, I recently got this K Star Glow filter, which is a piece of glass that when you put in front of the camera lens, it will make brighter constellations in the sky pop out a bit more. And I recently used it in the High Island Reservoir in Sai Kong, but at the time I didn't know that although it will make the sky pop out, it will make the foreground a bit fuzzier and less sharp. Lesson learned, and today I'm going to try to use it again. So I'm going to take multiple exposures of the sky with the filter on to make the stars pop out a bit more and another exposure for the foreground without the filter so that I can retain those details in the foreground and the landscapes and then merge them together in post-processing. So if I manage to pull that off, I am going to share that photo right now. So windy up here in the peak. I'm done shooting the night sky and honestly I don't think I'm quite pleased with the compositions because it was quite difficult to find the right shooting spot in the dark but it's always nice to see the Milky Way again. <sighs> so right now I'm just waiting for the sunrise along with countless other people because this is a mainstream sunrise hike and our view. Sunset Peak, the third highest mountain in Hong Kong. Quite cool, right?
I took this sunrise time lapse but made the executive decision to cut it short because I saw some compositions showcasing the layers made by the mountains and the city quite promising. Let me know what you thought of these images in the comments below. I always appreciate your feedback. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please do like and subscribe. But if that wasn't enough convincing, maybe these drone footages of the wonderful Lantau Trail will. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.